break it, you're not going to cry about it. Well, I would cry about it, to be fair. Yeah. But if you break that, mate... I know, you're going to know about that, yeah. I'll never let you forget it. Right, so if you're watching this video, guys, you're probably thinking about buying the Garmin S17. Probably. Let's not beat around the bush. It's the new kid on the block, and this thing's supposed to be the all singing, all dancing. It is the best golf watch on the market. It's a piece of kit. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. But are you prepared to spend £650 on a golf watch? Some of you might not be and looking a little bit more on the more budget side. So we've got you covered and we've got the ShotScope G5. Now this is pretty much the lower range on the golf watch market. This watch is phenomenal for the money and you're not going to get much better for £150 price point. So you're looking at £650 for your Garmin S70, yep. £150 for this. Who's the S70 going to be aimed at? I mean the S70 is going to be aimed at absolutely everyone from your yeah, amateur right up to pro level to be honest. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the two watches out on course and we're going to compare the two of them. Yeah we're going to play one hole with these watches, see if the yardage is married up with each other and how accurate it is yeah we're going to test out the features whether you're going to use the features on course and um, yeah see which watch we prefer and give you an overall opinion at the end so first of all guys I want to point out the difference with the Garmin S70 compared with the G5 the distances so what have you got in yours I've currently got 138 to the pin. So I've got 132, but if I click on the button which shows you the actual plays like distance, it's only 126. It takes into account elevation, wind. You don't have that on the shot scope. They both have the front, middle, and back of the greens, but yours is a little bit more a bit fancy. More accurate. Yeah. Little, well, maybe. It's a bit more fancy. So I'm just a few yards from the pin, so we're going to quickly see what both the watches say. Jay's S70 is reading 15 yards to the pin, mine's reading 10. Now look at the displays guys, that's very vibrant the S70. The G5, you can see it, but it's nowhere near as bright as the S70. So we're going to quickly run through the ShotScope G5's features. They're pretty few and far between, aren't they, Jay? They are. Both watches have the front, middle and back of the green. Both got the hazards and layup options. And the G5's got a scorecard at 70 has as well. Those are the basic features of the G5. I mean, that's all you really need though, isn't it? Well, like I say, that is why it's lower budget. It gives you what you want, the initial basic information yeah. and ease of use. If you already know your yardages, as in your distances, you might not want tracking. The G5 doesn't do shot tracking, but the X5 does. This S70 does as well though, doesn't it? does it? do the tracking. Yeah. The only downside with the S70 is it doesn't come with the tags. They're an extra 200 quid. If you want it with all the tags, you're looking at really 800 or 850 pound guys. It has got a feature on there though. If you haven't got the tags, after you hit your ball, it will come up with a list where you just select your club. The watch will vibrate after you've taken your shot and you walk off it will vibrate yeah. and remind you to select your club. That's something I really would need. Uh, the G5 doesn't vibrate whatsoever so if you forget to put your, your score in you know that's not great but do you really want to be spending 800, 850 pounds on a golf watch? It's a hell of a lot of money but I think if you're going to use it to its full capabilities and why not it's got things on it like swing tempo we've actually done a little video on that guys i find that really good yeah, really check, helpful. check that video out it's got elevation which the g5 doesn't it's got a better display better resolution it looks a lot more premium doesn't it yeah everything about it to be honest yeah the g5 looks very plasticky and very sort of it's come out of a cracker but in all fairness, it's actually a decent bit of kit, isn't it? It still does what you actually want. It does everything And a lot of I people need. find the S70 has too many features. Yeah, they found it with the S62 as well. It put you off actually using it, didn't it? It did, yeah. S62. Um, this G5, though, it, for me, does everything I need. 
it does the scoring and it does your distances that's all I really want if you want a watch that you'll be able to move the pin around on probably want to go for the S70 or even the Shotscope X5 that comes with all the tracking tags as well that's 275 pounds isn't it yeah so that's sort of in between the G5 and the S70 but if you're on a low budget like everybody is at the moment the G5 is a cracker isn't it it is good it's it very good cracker. it's giving you yardages it's giving you hazards and layup, dog legs, etc. So yeah. it does give you the information you need. The other thing to consider, guys, is the second hand market. If you want to sell this Shotscope G5, it's only cost you 150. So second hand wise, you're probably going to get 100 quid for it as it is. Whereas the S70, you're quite quickly going to drop two or 300 quid on that, aren't you? Probably, yeah. You're going to lose money on that big time. But you're more likely to sell it because everybody wants a G70, S70 get confused with the names now. So we're going to quickly look at some of the features on the S70. So you've got green view. This is going to allow you to move the pin and select the distances. Get a bit more accurate. That's what yeah, that's especially if the green keeper's been in and move the pin. You've got the virtual caddy. Now this will only work after you've done a certain amount of rounds. So I've got four rounds remaining. What does that actually do? That's going to then give you a guide on what club it thinks you should use because it's going to learn your distances and actually help you on course by knowing your distances working out how you can get create path from your averages it's a brilliant bit of kit pretty, pretty good moving on obviously you can change your hole adjust your score pad pin pointer if you're teeing off and you've got some trees that you want to potentially go over or like we do normally you just get stuck in them this is actually going to show you the direction of where the flag is so that's another nice little feature so none of this is on the G5, is it? No. We've got wind. It's endless. 12 mile an hour and gives you the direction. So that's again, this handy. all takes into account as well with the yardages. Yeah. It's endless, isn't it, the features? You've got shot measure, which is going to read your last shot. Club stats, custom targets, so you can select the custom targets. There's a lot of features There's on there. A lot on there, isn't there? Loads on there, yeah. So as you can see, you get a lot more for your money with the S70, but obviously you're paying a premium price for it. Pacey, you've got to ask yourself the question. Do you want to dip in your pockets? Do you want to dip in? Um, Jay's dipped in, he's got himself one. And I've got myself a nice little G5, and I'm really happy with that. Thanks, Shotscope, I'm really chuffed with it. I think it all depends on your personal preference. If you want something that's very easy to use, it gives you the basic information, and it's pretty darn cheap. This is the watch for you Go guys. Go for a G5. G5 all day long. You won't be, 150 quid. And if you yeah. break it, you're not gonna cry about it. Well, I would cry about it, to be fair. Yeah. But if you break that, mate. I know, mm. you're gonna know about that, yeah. I'll never let you forget it. Yeah. But if you are looking at something a little bit more information on the back of the course, and you've got deeper pockets, oh, the get the S70. It is by far the best golf watch on the market. It's the best golf watch on the planet at the moment, yeah. I think. You can't go wrong with it. So if you've got the money, yeah, go for it. If you haven't got the money, well, stick it on PayPal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, that just about wraps up the video. If you haven't already, guys, please click that subscribe button. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs>